You're gonna be surprised, Michael. Come on. Michael? I know, I know, I know you thought I was we're, abducting we're here you. Band. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was out buying some books for Riva. Did you know that we've yeah. got a genius um, or close to one on our hands? I gave her this Mike, IQ test while you were out. Listen and her verbal me, okay? and cognitive I... skills are unbelievable. Yeah. And she also made um, some incredible progress in reading and writing while you were gone. Michael, I bought her these. I think I can handle them. Do you think that you'll, you know, I think she can handle them. Yeah, I, I think she's going to be able to handle those, yes. Okay, great. Now, Riva is coming along. Totally according to schedule. Everything is just falling Michael. into place. It's amazing. You think so? Yeah. You yeah. Can go what see, what did you say? She, she, she's supposed to be about what? Uh, how old did you say she's supposed to be? Um, I'd say about seven, seven. seven years. Yeah. But she's not an ordinary child, not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you know, she's growing at this accelerated rate, and that's why she has to rest for so long for her mind and body. Yeah, that, that's why she takes the long naps, right? Yeah, yeah, precisely. And according to my calculations, she should be asleep for another... Uh, eight hours. Yeah, well, you know what? You, you may have to rethink your calculations. She, she's been up. Oh, yeah. What? Well, what did you all talk about? Well, I, I think I prefer that you hear it from her. No, 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 wait, no, no, wait, wait, no, no, wait, listen, no, 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 she's awake. Hold on for one second. Rico, will you come in here for a minute, please? Come here. Okay. Thank you. I bought her this dress. What do you think? I couldn't resist these little... Take a look. Hi, Michael. Oh my god. I, I can see something. See? Yeah, yeah. I mean it's pretty strange, but shadows. I see I see shadows. And it's pretty dark and foggy, but but the blackness is gone. You can see? Yeah, well nothing's clear. I mean at least not yet, but it's something. Voy a ir a hablar con el doctor. Yes, but but Dr. Dan, all right? Get Dr. Dan and hurry! See? Holly, I know that you're upset, but Fletcher has a substantial head start, and if we don't move quickly, we're going to lose him. London is a very big city. You and I both know that London may not be his final destination. I called his son's boarding school. He transferred out yesterday. All right. Who are you calling? The police. No! No, you're not going to call the police! All right, if this is what it takes to do the right thing. I'll pay off the bet. But then you have to hand over the tape. Sounds good to me. No. You swear to me, Matt. Once I lay down in that bed, and I do what you want me to do. And do what you want to do, too. No, you swear to me, Ben, that you give me that tape. The tape will be all yours. Ah. I knew you were beautiful, but until now, I never fully appreciated your finer points. Oh, save the commentary, Ben. This is strictly a business deal. Well, I wish all my business associates had your taste in lingerie. This isn't gonna work. This isn't working. It's working for me. Ben, I can't go through with this, all right? I thought you wanted to help Abigail get out I, of jail. I do. It's just... It's just what? Don't you have any decency? Do you have a conscience? Some. You'd be surprised. You're damn right I would. Ben... You withheld a tape that would keep Abby out of jail. And you're withholding your part of the bargain. If something happens to Abigail in prison, we both know who'll be responsible, don't we? After all, the DA is willing to cut you a deal. Oh, please, for once in your life, do the right thing. Just give me the tape and forget about this. Well, you'd be much too hard to forget, Blake. I thought you wanted to help your friend. I do. Evidently not enough. All right, fine. Come on. Get it over with. Just do it. Do it right now. Satisfied? No. But 
I'll let you know when I am. say more of a woman than most men deserve look ben save it for somebody who wants you i have i don't need you to seduce me ben so i don't want to hear it all right just do whatever you're gonna do and get it over with whatever i want yes finish what you started all right ben you think i like this yes Come on. What? Come on. I want you to know something, Ben. I won't be going to bed with you. My body might be there, but I won't. That's all right. Your body will do for now. You're kidding if you think I'm going to like this, Ben. Because I'm strictly doing this for Abby and for Ross. So you're dreaming if you think I'm going to enjoy it. Lie down. Lie down. I want to look at you. Do whatever you want. You know, in this light, your hair looks like fire, like tongues of flame. Ben, if you think you're turning me on, you're not. I hope you're having a good time because I'm certainly not. I'm having a wonderful time. Thank you for asking. Well, don't expect me to pretend because I won't. I don't want you to pretend to be anything other than who you are because what you are is perfect. So I guess this is technically like being raped. I don't think so. I'm allowing you to do this to me. Carlos, is that you? No, no, it, it's me, Michelle. What's going on? I can, I can see something. Not, not anything sharp, but shapes and shadows. W when did this start? Well, it's still pretty, pretty dark. Michelle, but, when did this first start? Well, I tripped on the chair and and I and I fell on the floor and I hit my head. And when Carlos was helping up, helping me up, that's when I first noticed some kind of motion. Motion, like 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 when your eyelids are closed, but you know that a light's been turned on. And I could even see the outline of his face. Like, in fact, he's right here. This is it. This is it right here. Right, right. Zing! No! No! Michelle, no, come what, back! What is it? What's wrong? He's gone! I can't see anything! Just, just... No, everything's dark again! The light is gone! Hey, you want to get a hot dog and a soda? Oh, uh, sure, but, uh, ketchup, no mustard. Okay, let's take my... Hi there. Two hot dogs, ketchup, no mustard, and a couple sodas. Orange soda. Thanks. You're welcome. There you go. So, did I catch you wishing on a star? Like it really come true? You never know. Depends on what you wish for. So beautiful. Sitting outside looking at the stars. It's not supposed to be this kind of weather right now, so. Yeah. How's school? 
Fine, I guess. Doesn't seem fine. Well, we're having this family fun weekend at, weekend at school in a few weeks, and... Mm -hmm. Well, Mama promised that we'd do something, like sing or dance. I'm just not sure if she's gonna make it home in time. Oh, sweetie, she's gonna show up. She's not gonna be gone that long. I hope so. I still seem worried. Yeah, I mean, the only other time she ever left us was, well, when I thought she had died. That's not what happened. Your mother is gonna be back before you know it. And uh, just take a look at uh, maybe the pictures in the book, okay? Yeah, we'll, I'll be uh, I'll, I'll be right back with you in a second. You gave her more of that gross stuff, didn't you? No, I stopped doubling the dose. Look at her. She's what is she? Ten years old? Yeah, give or take a couple of years. Michael, don't pretend like this is no big deal. I saw the look on your face when you when you saw her. Josh, it's not an exact science. We yeah, are right well, in there. Right in where, Michael? We are way in over our heads here. This thing is going much too fast. It's going way way too quick. Look, Josh, I'll alter the dose. It's a very simple adjustment. This is too hard. Can you help me? Hey, Josh, why don't you go uh, help her? Out? Just one second, just, okay? Josh, I was off a few years, okay? She's she's seven ten. She's still a little girl, Josh, and she needs you right now as much as you need her. Don't Mike. keep me waiting all day. Come on. Okay. All right. Uh, uh. All okay. of it. Okay. Y you want me to read you this entire book? Would you? I'll give you a kiss. You definitely remind me of someone. Okay, uh, chapter one, playing pilgrims. Uh, Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without any presents, grumbled Joe, lying on the rug. It's so dreadful to be poor, sighed Meg, uh, looking down at her old dress. As she spoke, Joe took off her bonnet, and a general outcry arose for all of her abundant hair was cut short. <laughs> your hair, your beautiful hair. Oh, Joe, how could you? You're one beauty. Oh, my dear girl, there was no need of this. Uh, she doesn't look like my Joe anymore, but I love her dearly for it. As everyone exclaimed, and Beth hugged the crop head tenderly. I Joe... want to cut my hair just like Joe did. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, that doesn't surprise me at all, because this... someone I once knew did exactly the same thing once. No one you know. I, I want to do that, too. What is that? I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, this, uh, ice skating. Yeah, I want to <laughs> do that, too. <laughs> Can we go? Uh... Well, we we could, but uh, but but not now. Uh, the ice wouldn't be right. It's, it's spring now. Okay, but I still want to go outside. You can't. Why? Well, because it's it's late, it, it's nighttime. But I, I know that people go out at nighttime. <sighs> I mean, I wear my coat. Yeah, okay? yeah, but it's dark right now. You wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. Sure you would. There's a full moon outside. I saw it from my bedroom window. Come on, I want to go out and play. Uh, wait, wait, no, oh, no, honey, no, honey, honey, no, I don't think it's very no. It's not a very good idea. Why not? <sighs> um, we we just told you why not. Outside and play. I want to have fun. I'm sick of being cooped up in here uh, all day. Uh, another time, okay? No! Look, I, why don't we just drop it and we'll talk about it some other day? Why? Am I in prison here? No, you're not in prison here. Then I want to go outside or else I'll scream. What? No. Reva, don't, listen to me. Don't. <laughs> Ali, I thought that you wanted to find Fletcher before he goes too far. I don't want to bring the police into it. Oh, God, I feel so guilty. What I did with Roger and Fletcher was seeing it. Oh, God. Well, yes, you were kissing him, Holly. That's all we were doing, Ross. I hope you believe me. Well, what I believe is quite beside the point. I don't blame him for how he feels, but he could have let me explain. I... How could he take my baby? That is crazy! Now, do you want me to call the police or not? I want you to find them! But I don't want...
want him to get into trouble. They'll, they'll charge him with kidnapping or something. No, 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 no. Fletcher is Meg's father, one of her legal guardians. Now, he's not guilty of kidnapping unless they can prove that he never intended to bring her back. I don't know. No police. No police. Well, what? What is it that you want to happen? Do you think that Fletcher is going to change his mind and come back on his own? No. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I know. I think we have to stop him before he leaves the country. If you want Meg back home, that's of what you have to do. I want oh. Meg home. She's my baby. I don't care if I'm the worst mother in the world. Now, come on, Holly, that's ridiculous. You're being way too hard on yourself. I'm sure Blake has told you how I used to be way back when, right? I've seen you with Meg. Now, it's apparent to anyone that you love that girl. You take very good care of her. But listen to me. If Fletcher is headed out of the country, every minute counts. Now, do you want to call the authorities? I think you should, but it's up to you. Okay, okay. Just protect Fletcher. I will. I will. I'll do everything for him, all right? Holly? Huh? Yes, um, Detective Cooper, please. Holly. What is it? What's going on? Oh. What? Frank. It's Ross. Listen, I'm at Holly Reed's, and we, we've got a domestic situation here. Uh, Fletcher took off with Meg, and we believe they're headed overseas. Uh, what is it? He's left me. Oh, no. He's left me. Oh, no, I don't believe it. Frank. <laughs> Frank, no, that... I'd hate to do that. What I want is the police to issue an APB, and that... Frank, I know that it would be quicker the other way, but the last person that I want to see tonight is Ben Warren. Mm, you have wonderful lips. Uh, you think you're something, don't you? Well, please, I might get aroused. <laughs> so quick to respond. Oh. Well, to the right things. Is that my cue to melt? I, I don't know. I don't think it's working. Is it? Well, why don't you give me some tips? Do you like this? Yes. Oh, I remember that. Oh, don't bother, really. This is bound to be a night I'll soon forget. Bound. <laughs> you know, it is just the two of us, Blake. There is no one else here. Is that supposed to be profound? No. I'm just trying to reassure you so you can relax. Enjoy yourself, because I know you want to. Oh, just shut up, man, and just get it over with, please. Look, if you want to close the deal, you better close it now. Because this is not love to me. This isn't even sex, all right? It's plain and simple blackmail. I don't have all night. But I do. Feels like I've been here for about a year and a half already. Mm. Don't stop. You don't like it? No. No. myself in the awkward position of having to ask you for a favor. So? I'm sure you know how I feel. Very well. But Blake's mother, Holly, is in a bit of trouble. Legal trouble? Her husband had, well, he took off with her daughter, Meg. So what do you want from me? Well, since you're the district attorney, I have no choice but to make this call. 
just tell me what you want from me. I want you to get a hold of a judge and ask for a bench warrant to prevent Fletcher from leaving the country. Look, I'm a little busy right now. Damn it, Ben, this is important. I'm aware of that. I'll do what I can. <laughs> no, you don't. Ben, I can't go through with this. Oh, yes, you can. And I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> no, the truth is, Blake, we were just beginning to have some fun. Isn't that the truth? skating right now. I don't it's care not the about right time skating. To I just want to go outside and play. Well, maybe Reba. tomorrow, all right? No! I want to be like the other kids and go outside and you, play. You are like other kids. Then why can't I go outside? I mean, <laughs> am I being punished or something? No, no, no of, of course, course not. Do no. you guys hate me? No, we don't hate then you, Then why Reba? can't I go outside? <sighs> I hope you have an answer for her, because you know what? I don't. Yeah. You know what? It's pretty late. It's pretty late, all right? And I don't think that there are a lot of people in the park. I think it's a safe place for her to be. You want me to take her to the park? Yeah, I think considering who she is, I think that makes the most sense. Are you nuts? John, are you completely... <sighs> it's a half hour, all okay. right? Just... Okay. It's okay. a half hour, okay? I'll tell you what. We'll go to the park. I can't, I can't, it's gone. I can't see a thing. What happened? Why did it just go away like that? No, I was so happy. I was so sure that this was some kind of breakthrough. For the first time since the fire, I saw something. I really did. Michelle, I believe Well, then what are we going to do about it? What? I was starting to have some hope again. And now... There's got to be something you can do. Jesse? No, it, it's, it's just me and Carlos, Michelle. No, I know. I heard Jesse. It's Carlos. No, no, no. I thought I heard... <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm going crazy. You're not going no, crazy, No, I, I wanted to hear Jesse's voice so much that I imagined it just like everything else is going wrong. <laughs> no, I hate this. I hate this. I'm trying to be brave and pretend that it doesn't matter, but it... Does. I want to see again. I want to see colors and light and Rick's stupid frowns and Jesse's smile and you, Dan, and Carlos. You don't know what it's like. When I wake up in the morning, I want to see the sun, but all I see is darkness. Look, Michelle, <laughs> Michelle, I know we don't know what's going on yet. But you gotta believe me. That the fact that you could see it all is a strong indication that things could improve. Please, you gotta believe me. Look, could you leave us alone so I can examine her further? you fun. Don't worry about that, Jesse. I have my ways. So this is the uh, Institute for Independent Living. The lady at the front desk told me that it's a private school for blind people. Yeah, that's right. Right. So what are you doing here? Working, Drew. It's called having a job. Why here? Because a guy like me has to take anything he can get. Oh, which is what? Uh, mopping floors? No, I don't mop floors. I do a lot of things around here. I'm called an aide. Oh, and uh, what are they paying you nowadays, Carlos? In pesos? We're friends, right, Jesse? So why don't you drop the act and tell me why that name tag says Carlos and not Jesse? 
We'll run some tests and see if we can find anything. If we haven't looked at it, you're overdue for some good news. What am I going to do if they never find them? Okay. Holly Fletcher's a reasonable guy. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's going to come to his senses sooner or later. Yeah, right. Of course he will. He will. He loves you very, very much. No, he doesn't. He doesn't want to see me again. Uh, Holly, that's not true. Oh. I just know it's not true. Vanessa, you know him as well as anybody. You know how smart and how stubborn he is. And if he wants to lose himself, he can do it. Holly, I don't think it's I don't think it's come to that. I think Fletcher's just mad right now. I've been mad at Vanessa more than a couple of times, and, and I've stayed out all night, but I eventually came back, and, I, and I'm sure that Fletcher's going to come to senses. No, he's not. This is different. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? Well, what have I done? I just talked to Barbara. She's taking care of the twins, but she has no idea where Blake is. Listen, I have to go, but I don't want to leave Holly here alone. We'll stay. We'll stay. Are you sure? Yes. We'll stay. We'll stay. Okay, thank you very much. And once I find Blake, I will send her over. Where are you going? Someplace that I don't want to go. Not at all. Ben warns. I should never have answered that phone. Why? Who is it? Who are you? What? Like, who? I don't know you a little better. How you like to be kissed? How you like to be touched by the sun? By the rain? Were you an ugly kid as a child? Or did God work one of his miracles? And have you always been so tasty? Next thing you know, you're going to say you love me. No. No, I like you, Blake. I like you a lot. Ben, if you're trying to get me to feel something... I know you feel something. I'm doing this for Abby. Uh-huh. I'm doing this to save her from going to prison. Mm -hmm. My kind of humanitarian. Maybe I am in love. This is gonna be over soon. No, it won't. And I will do anything you want. All right? Oh, you're gonna get it. Give it to me, I promise. Oh, I will. I want you to want us. What are you talking about? I think we should wait until you really want to do it before we make love. Despicable pig! Despicable? Please! Would you lure me into this... And then you're going to play this on me? What are you talking about? I thought you wanted me no, to stop. What do you want to do, Ben? What are you trying to do here? Are you trying to humiliate me? Is that what you're trying I to do? I thought you wanted me to stop. Just don't even look at me. I just don't even want you to be near me. I'm trying to respect your feelings here. Give me that tape. And what tape is that? Don't! you dare do this to me, Ben? Don't you do this to me. You got what you want. Now you give me that tape. I'm afraid I can't do that. Oh, oh really? Well, I'm afraid you're gonna have to. Not again. Ben, can you give me that tape? You ben, give me that ben. tape! We had an agreement! Yes, we had an agreement. If you sleep with me, I give you the tape. But you didn't sleep with me. That is not my fault. What, what? 
Am I missing something here? Did you want to sleep with me? Don't. Well, why didn't you, you say so? Dare do this to me, Ben. You give me that tape right now. It's not too late. You can still tell me. Why don't you tell me, Blake? Tell me you want to sleep with me. Not in this lifetime. What about the next? Give that tape to me. Where is it? Fine. You know what, Ben? Great. I'm just going to go out and I'm going to tell everybody that you have it because I saw it. And then they can just throw you in jail for obstructing justice, withholding evidence. And I'm going to deny every word and destroy the evidence. No, you won't. You want to test me? Another bet you can lose. <laughs> Hmm. See, now this is how you should always treat me. But as much as I'm enjoying Jesse, I'd really like to know about Carlos. Look, I'll tell you everything you need to know as long as you get out of here. Why? That was my supervisor. Oh, OK. I'll leave. But I have lots of questions for you later. Make sure you write them down. I'm not going to write them down, Jesse. I'm going to attach the very best part of you to my own personal lie detector. Drew. I'm going. Bye. Can you make it back to the bed, okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Uh-huh. Any news? No improvement, Jesse. But she said she could see, man. That's got to come. Yeah, that's not going to help cool. the situation. I want her to be okay. That's it. Yeah? So you just told your girlfriend? Look, let's get one thing straight here. She's not my girlfriend. She came here unannounced, and I told her to take a hike. That's not what it looked like to me. Look, it was either hug her or muzzle her, all right? She's got a big mouth. I don't want Michelle finding out about this. Right, right. It's the truth, OK? I guess I'll have to take your word for it. Look, thanks for covering for me. And now Michelle recognized my voice. I did it for Michelle, OK? I didn't want to upset her any more than she already was. Well, thanks anyway. Look, I'll keep quiet for now, but don't expect me to keep this up forever. Over here. Let's get our bags. Okay. Come on. I want to go on the street. Uh, okay. All right. I'll tell. I'll tell you what. Um. Just sit down. Sit down. Uh, flat on there. Make sure you're back a little bit. That's good. Okay. Feet up. Like All right. This. Hang on tight. Here we go. Like this, right? Yeah. That's good. I love this. Isn't it fun? Yes. Yeah, you want to go a little bit higher? Yeah. Here, I'll, uh, I'll give you another big push. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> I love this. This is even better than it seemed in the book. <laughs> can we come back tomorrow? Yeah, I guess, I guess we can, sure. Promise? I, I promise. Okay, ready? Watch this. Ready for what? Watch. Wait, wait, wait. Watch. What are you doing? What are you... No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, easy, easy. Are you okay? Easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next time, I want to go even higher. You, you, you scared me just a little bit there, OK? I know. I'm scaring me, too, and I love it. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, What's going on here, Josh? <sighs> we didn't expect to see you here tonight. Yeah, well, I, I didn't uh, ex expect to see you either. Hi. Hello. Uh, are you one of Joshua's friends? Daddy, who is this girl? Carlos, sorry. Yeah. I was almost happy there for a while. I forgot what that felt like. No, no pierde la esperanza. I don't understand. Maybe see again? I 
can't afford to think that way. I just get my hopes up again, and I can't do that. <laughs> Better next time. It'll never, never be good, and never be another time. No, no, give up. I can't help it. It's so painful to think of getting my life back, and then, and then this. It just proves that I was right not to tell Jesse what happened to me. He'd be so disappointed right now. In fact, I don't think he could take this. Lie down, you know, and just rest. It might do you some good. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Don't drink any more of that stuff. Not on top of your medication. I'm not. I was just so nervous. I feel like I should be doing something. I gotta. I don't know what to do here. Uh, listen, listen. Uh, do you have some chamomile tea or some herbal tea? I could make you a pot. It would calm you down. Might help. You know, or maybe it wouldn't help, but it, it would make us feel better if we could do something for you. Tea, so. great okay. tea. Right. Make me tea. I'm gonna try and get a hold of Blake. What are you taking your tea, Mahali? I hope you die. Well, time and tide wait for no man. No, you know what, Ben? That's too good. It's way too easy. I hope you die a thousand torturous deaths. Do I get a thousand last requests? I hope somebody wipes that cocky, smug little smile off your face. I'll be waiting. And don't worry, Blaine. Ross will never hear a word about this. He never wanted to share our mother, so I can't imagine he'd want to share you. Oh, you think you're so cute, don't you? Huh? Yeah, now that you have something to hang over my head, is that it? No, I just wanted to reassure you to let you know our secret is safe until the next time. Oh, the next time. Yes, and maybe the next time you'll be a little more serious about paying off your debt. Go to hell. If I do, I won't go alone. Blake. Nothing but castration will be enough for that man. Ross! Blake. In Guiding Light. Autoware provided by Andrew Mark.